Hi, I'm John Bresen, professor at NUI Galway, and I'm also associated with the Porshed as a director and co-founder, and I'm the vice chair and incoming chair of this week. We've had a fantastic surge in events that are encouraging people to become entrepreneurs, to encourage the spirit of entrepreneurship. And we've had events like Star of Galway and Mentech Brew about five to three years ago. And more recently, there's been a increase in these kind of events uh, by an order of magnitude. But we need to have more of these stories coming from the great role models in the west of Ireland and in Galway telling people how to become an entrepreneur and their experiences. And that can be through articles, through events, through talks, classes and so on. Because we are lagging a little bit behind in terms of startup creation in Galway. A recent report from the OECD on SMEs and entrepreneurship policy in Ireland said that Galway was behind Limerick, Cork and Dublin in terms of new company formation. So why do startups fail? Well, there are many reasons, but amongst them is having the right team, or actually more precisely, having the team with the right skills to execute. We do have various courses like Tech Innovate and Ag Innovate and Bio Innovate that teach people the structured entrepreneurship skills they need to succeed. But can we broaden this out to our wider uh, community of researchers in both corporates and in universities? Can we teach them how to be entrepreneurial? And even further beyond that, can we deliver entrepreneurship as a fundamental course to all undergraduates, just as we teach stats and maths to many students in science, engineering or commerce? Because we know that startups need to have this combination of skills. They need to have what we call the hacker, the hustler and the hipster. The hacker makes stuff, the hustler can basically sell and do the business stuff, and then you've got the hipsters who make it look good. And we need to make sure we fill the gaps in startups. So the Porsche Shed has transformed downtown Galway as a place for startups. We've gone from a situation where there are about five tech companies located in downtown Galway about five years ago to having about 50 tech companies now, and that's a range of startups, scale-ups and FDI companies as well. And there are uh, more developments uh, coming on stream like building number two from the Galway City Innovation District which will be a home for scale-ups. But we need to do more, we need to be able to compete with other cities nationally and globally and make sure that the space exists. So we need to get behind efforts like the Port of Galway development, the Nuns Island redevelopment and so on to make sure that we can actually compete nationally and globally. Organisations like Westpic provide great support to help startups get investor ready. And we have other national organisations like Scale Ireland that basically represents scale-ups to the government to help form policy in the future. So these startups can have various supports from organisations working on our behalf. But what I've observed is that sometimes startups don't know where to get those supports, they don't know what's around them, both at a national and a European level. For example, there might be a Marie Curie Society and Enterprise Fellowship that's available to them where they can get somebody paid full time and they own all of the IP or there might be feasibility grants from various organisations like Enterprise Ireland, the Leos, or Udaros Nagwaeltukta. So I think it'd be great if startups had a good idea of what supports they could get. Maybe as soon as a company is formed, they get a booklet saying, here's what's around you, here's what you can avail of, and to have better matchmaking to line them up to the appropriate organisations. So we're fortunate to have region-specific entities like the Western Development Commission and their investment fund, which helps provide funding to startups in the West. And there are, of course, lots of organisations like the HBANs, like Enterprise Ireland, Uderos and the Leos providing grants to organisations and there's various opportunities through accelerators within the region. In fact, Galway has two accelerators in the region at one at the Borished and the one at the university called BioXL. But there is still a serious issue in terms of getting more serious funding or what we call Series A, B and C investment for startups. We need to make sure that our startups and scale-ups don't run out of money, that Basically, we don't half fill the tank on the way to the airport. And it's important that we realize that these companies have a serious global ambition and it needs to be supported. So Galway has grown significantly as a startup ecosystem in the past number of years. Let's continue to work together to make Galway a great startup and scale-up destination. <laughs>